first quarter final at Light Heavy sees Nikolov of Bulgaria up against Vladimir Mironchikov of Serbia. So good support for Mironchikov as always. He got a buy in the opening round, then beat Khan Aikutsan of Turkey 5 0. He's a tall fighter, uses that height, uses the reach that comes with it. Nice jab, 1 2. Pretty good basics, keeps it simple. Nikolov has beaten Gichai Kim of Korea and Robertas Liorankas of Lithuania. And he's kind of the same, to be honest, stylistically. I think of the two, Nikolov probably punches harder. I think he's one of those fighters who punches harder than he looks like he does. And the reason I say that is because in his fight so far, we've just seen his fighters just retreat into their shell bit by bit by bit, not open out as much. And that's because Nikolov's accurate and I think probably has that little bit of power too. Both of these two national champions this year. Both went to the under-22s in Rosetto. Neither one of them made a significant impact. So we've got Nikolov, Bulgaria in the red, Mironchikov, Serbia in the blue. Mironchikov with a slight height advantage there, nothing to get too carried away with. He's the bigger man as well. Nikolov looks quite a small light heavyweight so into the first there's that jab one two from Nikolov immediately there straight onto the front foot and landed it straight away as well and the jab again just goes in a couple of times he's found his range immediately with the very first punch of the threw right hand comes through back from Miron Chikov and, and he needed that he needed something because up to that point, that had been a good start for Nikolov, but he just got clipped on his way in by Miron Chikov. Left hand from Nikolov as Miron Chikov tried to come in. Right hand from Nikolov. There's a good beginning to the fight. Nikolov again, right hand to the body, left hand up top. And the one two comes through too, and they swap punches up close. Lead left hand there from Nikolov, right hand from Miron Chikov. This is really. Really good stuff so far. Nikolov is, is getting the better of it. He's outlanding Miron Chikov three or four to one at the moment. The Serbian just taking these punches, but has managed to land some of his own as well. But the Bulgarian came straight to the middle of the ring, snapped off a one-two, got through with it. And as I say, he locked on and found the, the right range straight away. That's what every fighter is looking for. It's all about distance boxing, really. If you control the distance, you control the fight. If you're within distance to land, then you do land. If you're not, then you don't. Right to the body there from Nikolov. Jabs the body again from Nikolov there. Jab came back there from Miron Chikov. As I said, stylistically they're similar. Nikolov's just a bit better at it, really, is quite a basic way of putting it. They're not exactly the same. Miron Chikov's a little bit more robotic, a bit stiffer. Nikolov is nice and loose. Good right hand again there from Nikolov. You could just see a little bit of spit fly out of the mouth of Miron Chikov on this near side. Left hand there from Miron Chikov. I don't think it got through absolutely clean. Right hand. Again, probably same story. I think Nikolov had the glove up to at least half blocked them, but they still make an impact. Really? 
That's Nikolov's round for me in the red corner. He outlanded Mironchikov quite significantly. But good action, good to watch. And four out of the five judges go to Nikolov, one to Mironchikov. So into the second, Nikolov taking four round of the five cards with the judges there. At the end of round one, he's boxing for Bulgaria in red. Vladimir Mironchikov of Serbia is in the blue. They've not really had to go looking for each other, these two. They've pretty much been standing right in front of one another. Jab to the body there from Nikolov. Dipping in with that front foot there, Nikolov. Left hand to the chest from Nikolov. Mironchikov throwing that one too, but he's bit by bit he's been backed up by Nikolov. In the first round he was stepping in, stepping to him. He was coming off second best. In the second round so far, midway through it, Nikolov, who has a look at the corner there, they were giving him a little bit of advice. He's just starting to force Mironchikov back more. Mironchikov stepping in there. Not as much as landed from either of them actually in this second up to this point. And there's that long right hand again. He was quite deliberate with it that time, Nikolov, lining it up. He just throws it so nice and straight. As I said, he doesn't force it. He doesn't pull off it, come off the punch, strangle the punch, however you want to describe it. He just shoots it straight down the middle. Two seconds remaining in round two, and Nikolov, like I said, he's stepping on Mironchikov a bit here. There's never any particular rush to him, the man in red. He doesn't get all over a fighter, chase them across the ring, anything like that. But it's just that accuracy. You just see Mironchikov giving ground, having to punch off the back foot. Right hand, kind of half lands there for Mironchikov, who half turns his back there and almost running away slightly towards the end of the round there. All five judges go with Miron Chikov in that second round, so he's got a 20 point to 18 lead with one of the judges. The other four cards are, are level. He did land off the back foot there in the in the second, he did, but Nikolov, I thought, on the front foot, threw that nice one too at times, did some good work. I thought he won that round. I thought he won that round. But it's now nice and on the knife edge heading into the third and final round, so Mironchikov with, with the lead on one card. The other four are level. 
Here are Tikov Serbia with the home crowd behind him in the blue. Nikolova Bulgaria in the red. Good left hand from Miron Chikov as he just backed up. Nikolov got through with the left hand there, a lead left hand. He's got a bit of a tired look to it now, Nikolov. He's beginning to feel this a bit, I think. Miron Chikov comparatively looks a bit fresher. 1 2 there from Nikolov and just kind of wandered in behind it a little bit, but it was effective enough. to south ball here, the Bulgarian. leaning on both of them just taking a little breather there I think looking for that long right hand there Nikolov crowd enjoyed that one Moronchikov managed to step out of the way of it I'm not sure if he came back with a counter it was over on the far side of the ring they certainly enjoyed it over there so maybe he did looking for the single right hand there Nikolov who who is running out of gas here who is pretty much out of gas actually Chikov still backing up here. He was backing up in that previous round as well. It's the final minute. Jab there from Nikolov. Gets through with the left on the inside. Ren Chikov just moving off to his left. Looks for the looks for the right, but it's blocked by Nikolov. Didn't find the target. Jabs to the body from Nikolov. Well, into the final 30 seconds, and we know that this one's in the balance. Nice one, too, there from Moronchikov on the outside. Got the distance and the timing absolutely right with that one. The head's just rubbing together as they get up close and lean on. I think he's going to get the final round here, the, the fighter in blue. Nikolov. He's run out of gas a bit in the final round. He ditches in a, a last attempt, one two, I think, there really. Nikolov is claiming it. Moronchikov is claiming it. I don't think there was loads in that final round. But I think Moronchikov is, is going to get it. I probably would go his way with it. And based on the fact that he got the, the second round boxing in a kind of similar fashion, mainly off the back foot, I would expect him to get this third. Odds with the with the judges on the scoring of that second round, but and it's neither here nor there. And he gets it. He gets it, Vladimir Mironchikov. 10 nines across the board in that final round. So, unanimous decision. One score of 30 points to 27. Four scores of 29 to 28. And through he goes. Very popular winner, Serbian fighter. So that's our first fight in the light heavyweight division, our first light heavyweight quarter final. And it's Serbia through. So a Serbian is just one win away from a guaranteed bronze medal and a guaranteed 25,000 US dollars. That's a new development in these men's world championships. 
There's been prize money all year long, starting with the World Youths back in April. The Asian Championships, the European Youths, the European Juniors. There's been prize money all the way through, all the way through. A kind of rueful look there from Nikolov. I think he was hoping he would get that. I'm not entirely convinced that he thought he would. Next up, we've got Norbeck 